All right, so I just dropped my youngest son off at preschool. He goes to preschool a couple of days a week. Um, <laughs> and I had a little snack, but let's be real, I didn't film it because I was embarrassed because it was chips and salsa. And I was like, it's not even nine in the morning and I'm eating chips and salsa. But I'm a mood everythinger. I am a mood reader. I'm a mood video tag person. Like I, I make tags based off of my, my um, my mood i am a mood eater <laughs> so chips and salt i'm watching the squirrel dance around um on my lawn right outside um i would say that i like squirrels but they're pests over here and um i actually saw a hawk actually i didn't my husband saw a hawk um scoop up a squirrel for a meal which was pretty barbaric but um I'm a mood eater, so I had chips and salsa early in the morning and I was kind of embarrassed by it and so I didn't film it. But that's okay. Um, I'm in a bit of a mood. I just filmed a video, I filmed my haul video, which was uh, really wonderful and I really enjoyed filming the haul, but um, I talked about my worry and my worry, uh, sometimes I like let it kind of get the best of me, but I'm learning. I'm really trying to change some of my habits and so instead I'm sort of letting it fuel me. Um, I'm letting it feel not like from an anxiety point of view, but like reining it in and letting those emotions like fuel, um, fuel me to, to like come back to center, um, instead of like talking about my worry and, and getting it and, and talking with others about the specifics of what I'm worried about and letting others console me, which is something that I kind of would let other people do. Um, but I'm just like, nope, you're going to stay grounded. <laughs> you're going to do what you said you were going to do. You're not going to let this overtake your life and you're going to keep going. But um, what I really was going to say is that I'm going to uh, make a second cup. I have my pot of coffee. I'm going to reheat it. I'm going to drink my second cup of coffee. I'm going to get settled. I am going to read either, I'm definitely going to read Jules Verne. And then I'm going to either pick up The Tin Flute or Wolf Hall. Not sure. The Tin Flute I need to read more pages of and I haven't started. So I'll probably pick that up first. And I'm excited about it. So we'll do. all right, I'll check in with y'all later. Because I love outfit of the days, I'm doing an outfit of the day. I call this <laughs> my cool mom outfit. <laughs> probably because of the shirt and the pants. Okay, the shirt, it, it, I bought it secondhand um, online. So I bought this secondhand. Actually, I bought my purse secondhand my earrings are from Etsy. My necklace is from, um, I can all scoot in. My necklace is from a little shop. Um, when we were visiting in California, I really love the necklace and my husband bought it for me, which was very sweet of him. My jeans are going to be from Madewell. And then my shoes are actually secondhand. I'm, I'm a big secondhand shopper. So I'm going to back up and show you all. You gotta just laugh at stuff like this, right? Okay, so let me tell you, let me just tell you, this is, <laughs> it all ended up fine, but today is my youngest son's picture day. So I was like, okay, great. Um, I'm gonna dress him in something cute. We're gonna like brush his hair, um, make him look cute, right? So he goes to school and I don't have his picture day form. I thought maybe they would take pictures and we could decide later if we like the pictures, if we wanted to order some. But no, this company, you have to order the pictures first. So his teacher goes out of her way to text me at home and say, hey, do you want pictures of your youngest? And I was like, well, yeah, yeah, I do. You know, we, um, my husband and I are both uh, photographers in our own right. My husband, a much better photographer than me. And we have tons, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of physical photos of our children but it's always nice to have a photo. So I was like, sure, would love a photo, love a photo of my youngest um, at preschool. Um, so she was like, okay, great. Just bring a check or the money um, when you pick them up in, in about in an hour and a half, right? So it's about 10, 15 now and I pick them up around noon. noon. And so I, um, I was like, okay, great. So I'm sitting down and I'm reading the tin flute, which is perfect. I mean, so good. Just, you know, the opening scene. And I was like, okay, wait a second. I have to write a check. Sometimes it takes me a minute to find the checkbook. So I was like, I'm going to go look for the checkbook. 
So I looked for the checkbook and I can't find it. My husband took the checkbook with him uh, to work today. I was like, okay, that's fine. I am just gonna grab my keys, run down to the ATM and get cash. I go to the ATM and it is gone. I actually think the bank that we use is not gonna be at that location anymore. The bank hadn't even opened. Um, so I think that that branch is closing, which, you know, is mine. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> so then I was like, I guess I'll just go to the other ATM. And then, it, you know, then it's like, okay, good. So the, the, the second ATM I went to, which wasn't too far, had the money, you know, had money. So I got the cash, but I needed change. So I ran to the coffee shop and I got myself a chai tea latte, <laughs> which I know has some caffeine, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. And then um, I got some change <laughs> and yeah. So my disorganized self um, is having a morning. Uh, yeah, and I just, you know, you just have to laugh at these things. Um, not let them get you down. I called my husband in a panic and I was just like, I just think I need to get it out. I just need to get this out. I need to get it out. Like my morning's not going the way that I wanted. And that's okay because life doesn't always go the way you want it. Actually, most of the time, Life doesn't go the way that you want it. And you have to learn to go with the flow. So I'm going with the flow. I'm gonna drink my chai tea latte. I'm gonna pick up the tin flute and enjoy myself for the next hour and a half to myself, okay? And I want you all to do the same. All right, see you in a bit. Lunch is egg salad on toast and um a green salad. I have a spritz of lemon on it, tomatoes, green beans, and um, <laughs> and uh, orange, some or tan green slices, um, and my water. Actually, Steve Donahue just went on a bit, uh, well, not a rant. He was just talking about how water makes him feel really, really good if he's drinking a lot of it, and I completely agree. Um, I used to be really, really good, almost religiously, <laughs> drink 100 ounces of water every single day, and I have not done that for a couple of years, but I wanted to get back into just drinking more water, so um, thank you, Steve, for that reminder. This is my backyard, um, or part of it, and these are the gray clouds in the sky. They're not super gray. But every time it's sort of gray and windy like this, I always think of something wicked this way comes. I have not read that by Ray Bradbury, but I love that title. And then I think of the music from Wizard of Oz. You like that, y'all? Y'all like that? Okay, so I have been putting off chores um, for days and days and days. I am not having the most productive week. I, sometimes that happens. I think some of it has to do with, I, actually I know some of it has to do with quitting coffee and having like the withdrawals process. Um, this is actually the first day in four days, five days that I am not napping and I'm not feeling like I need to fall asleep during my kid's nap time. So I'm really thankful that I feel good right now but it also means that I have been behind on chores. So I, um, I'm gonna catch up on chores. Uh, so usually I would read during nap, but I'm gonna forego that and I'm gonna put on some booktube and I'm gonna do my chores. And then maybe if I have like 20 or 30 minutes after I'm done with some of my housework, which is my work in, um, in the world, part of it is you know keeping my house um, in a state of, organization in a state where we're comfortable and as you can see even like back you, let's see right right here like our garbage can is overflowing and it's a little bit like that throughout the house just like little piles of clutter that happens when you have little kids and I always have to set aside some time to you know make sure our bathrooms are clean and um and make sure that things like trashes get emptied and and, and just things like that which is really important um, to feel good in the house, in the home. At least that's that's my belief. So um, life doesn't always go as planned, as I mentioned earlier, but 
it's all right we're going with it and i'm gonna clean up i'm not gonna show you when i clean up because i'm recording on my phone and i'm gonna watch booktube or listen to booktube while i'm doing my chores okay i'll see you in a bit all right i'm prepping dinner <laughs> I am prepping dinner and we are making, I'm making falafels. So enjoy the dinner prep. which turn out okay, some pita bread and some cucumbers and hey. tomatoes. <laughs> I'm excited. What a day. Absolutely nothing. Nothing went to plan. <laughs> I didn't read as much as I wanted to read. I didn't get through as much as I wanted to get through. I didn't read at the times that I wanted to read. I didn't get as many chores as I wanted to get done. <sighs> That's okay. It's okay, days like this happen. I wanted to wrap up before I washed off all my makeup. I mean, nothing went to plan. Um, even my falafels didn't turn out quite the way that I wanted them to. But that's okay. That's all right. Um, another day will be here, and I don't want to waste time feeling bad about how today went. So, with that, I am reading The Tin Flute. It is wonderful, and I'm going to enjoy my quiet time, and I'm going to enjoy my book. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, or evening, wherever you're at in the world. Bye now.